All right, back with more Arcade Paradise, making some pretty good progress here. I have to place this new Fruit Crush machine. Let's see what my objectives are for today. Shuttle Cox, Attack Vector, move three gum, only hitting fire poles, which is actually kind of hard to do. I think I still need to place stuff on the jukebox as well. Upper's empty. I don't even know if I have any gum lying around, actually. I might not get to do that one. Yeah, I think I'm just not going to get to do gum. All right, let's try out Fruit Crush. Oh, interesting. Dr. Mario, basically? Didn't mean to do that. Hey, Rorak, how you doing? You more like Puyo Puyo. See what the objectives are for this. It has to be four to get them to blow up. I don't know if this wants you to do cascades. Four in any pattern, okay. check the task list for this guy so fruit crush get a 3x combo get a 6x combo crush every type of fruit complete level five okay already making as much money from it as i can combo sounds like it must be from Cascades, so I'll try to make that happen here. I want to try to force these to combine at the last second, you know? Two X combo. I thought this was end up being a fruit ninja like. I'm kind of surprised. Still only 2x. I like that they have the jar on the side, which looks like it's uh, Dr. Mario. The objectives for this one are actually kind of hard to go for. So the maps take a while to clear, it seems like. I'll go for it still. I may as well, you know. I do the 2x combo without too much trouble here. Should clear that. It's like Puyo Puyo mixed with Dr. Mario. I almost got a 3x, but I see. We have strawberries. cause a clear it's not very helpful I 
Looking to learn, I'm sure there's some like baked in patterns you can just memorize for getting good cascade combos here. Someone who's generally not as good at seeing those. Intentionally do a stack of three interrupted by another stack of three. Oh, I didn't realize I could split halves by doing that. Okay, that's helpful. line. I think that clears immediately. Yeah, it breaks it up. Okay. Makes sense. something getting set up there. There's a gold combo times three. Okay. So I still need 6x combo, crush every type of fruit, complete level five. That seems really hard to do. This game is so slow, I feel like I'm going to spend the entire day playing it. There's a 3x. I don't care about the clean clothes. They don't matter to me anymore. It's totally irrelevant now. I'm making this game is pretty fun because you have to come up with, like, recreate so many game concepts. There's a hard drop in this. Just rotate. Show me controls. I don't think we get a hard drop. Okay. That's fine. I guess you just intentionally make lines of three anywhere you can without making four. And then just kind of hope that that causes cascades later on, maybe. I'm gonna try to get the level five objective done here just so that I can move on to a different machine. Cause like I said, this is probably gonna take the entire day. Avocado stacks. That will make a combo at least.
Oh, is it Kiwi? No idea. Whoops, that got stuck. That's bad. Oh, there is a hard drop, okay. That probably makes this faster than if I can get good at it. I think I'm doing things right now is not great though. Shit, I need to do that elsewhere. I get from being trying to be slightly fancy here. five and now I know I have the hard drop so maybe I'll come back to this one later but that one's a lot of work to get a single advantage uh, the other thing I had to do today was play shuttlecocks or attack vector there's no gum for me to remove go check the token machine because I don't have a thing to auto collect that order a new machine from Morrow got to set this guy Hey, Aki, how you doing? Okay. Arcade Mania Bomb Dudes. We're just complete. Okay. Keep doing one of those per day. And I haven't gotten enough objectives to buy the radio advertisement that I'm going for. So, shuttlecocks, and what was the other one? Oops. Attack vector. I feel like the Mario Kart font for that. One that's like missile command. Oh no. Enjoying AC, nice. Should see what objectives I still have for this machine. Down 333 attack choppers is basically it, okay. Basically undying. minutes is relatively long so I probably won't be able to do the other objective here today. Make sure I don't even pick up gum at all on days that it's not an objective because I tend to not have enough to do it. dryer, I don't care. Ah. 
just have to play for five minutes. I don't think it has to be five consecutive minutes. Should check on the jukebox machine requirements. That takes a long time to finish to get to pay more. I do wish there were stretch goals in every machine. This one I already did the harder ones. Just have to kill. No idea what that little guy is saying when he pops up. to do okay, we've done it for like three minutes let me get this running at the same time jukebox listen to the jukebox for three hours unlock and listen to 30 music tracks okay that it might even require me buying more tracks to do. That's okay. The only problem with the objectives that require you to spend time in the machine, I don't think they necessarily pop up to let you know that you got it. Constantly is the way to do this. I do kind of like the idea of like running your own arcade primarily being spent actually playing games in the arcade. Helicopters is a ton. I'm not gonna go for that naturally only if the daily quest sends me here me if I back out. Did it. All right. I don't think I can finish the other objective in time. It's basically Pong. Yeah, I don't know if I could, like, handle playing Pong for five minutes. Just reset the day. Let me check to see if there's any gum just for funsies here. I need three pieces. I already placed my order for tomorrow. It was pretty cool to play with long breaks. It's kind of, you had to buy every one of these machines except for like the first one or two. No, I have like no gum. Okay, oh well. Past 2 a.m. Go home.
bomb dudes. Okay. I don't have a lot of empty slots left. Expand again soon. Score five own goals in video air hockey. Getting a score of 2,500 in UFO assault, 100 enemies in Vostok. Okay. Barkanoid. Maybe there's still something that requires my expertise. Anything I can assist with. Earn that privilege. Just ask, and I can be available if, if you ever know that. Yeah, exactly. That's how this starts out. Cleaning up trash and messes and stuff, but Eventually, you get to the point where you make so much money from the machines, you don't have to do any of that anymore. I haven't done laundry in a really long time, unless if the daily objective specifically tells me to do it. Okay, uh... Five own goals in air hockey. What is my air hockey machine? I don't think I ever got rid of anything. Oh, it's bugs. Debug? Very easy objective. Three British pounds. Come on. Don't care. Okay. Only kind of those four. Okay, hold on. There we go. All right. 2,500 in UFO assault, 100 enemies in Vostok. Stocks one with a progression system. Come on. There you go. Kill a hundred enemies. I want to see my new machine too. I'll do that after this. What else do I need to do from this game? Without taking damage, without killing any enemies except the boss, buy all ship upgrades. That one's a long, pretty long term one. all of these literally just save up sixty one enemies so far so probably can leave after round two. Yeah, 
Yeah, exactly. But the machine's not just worthless really quickly. These enemies used to be really annoying before I got the full laser upgrade. Hey, to do complete. All right, I'll buy something here and then we'll get out of here. I want to try to spend as much of the money as possible because I don't think it carries over. Move speed, probably. Let's check out my new machine. Bomb dudes. Adventure. Okay, so it's Bomberman. Cool. My objectives for this one. Have all power-ups at once, blow up opponents in party mode. There are 25 stages in adventure mode, so those all take a while. Oh, I'm dead. enemies Got bigger explosions is that all power-ups that I just get Have all power-ups at once, okay. Let me clear at least one stage before I go do the other objective for the day. Set your power ups, okay. Uh oh. Blow up your own power ups. X-ray vision is nice, but I feel like it's gonna get me killed. Ouch. And I lose all power-ups when that happens, okay. Unfortunately, they throw you a lot of one-ups here, it seems like. Bomb kick? No. Guess they have reliable behaviors. Okay. Bomb scare. Let's get out of here. It's enough for now. I still have to do a score on another machine. 2,500 in UFO assault. And I play this more. How much of these haven't I heard yet?
probably just need to buy new ones. I wish the game would keep track of which ones I haven't haven't seen. Pretty sure I've done this one. But... Twenty five hundred, they said, to score. I get the highest buildings first if I can. Oh, I might be dead here just because of these two buildings being too close to each other. Yeah. Try again. Interesting one, because you have a cooldown on how often you can drop the bomb. So if you wait too long to drop it on a specific building, you're like wasting drops for that pass. Ooh, I fucked that up. It's recoverable, but... Check the token machine after this. If I can get these timed right. Well, I need to get really far to get the score requirement for this. It's like level three, I think. I'll get a bonus for beating the stage. Not the important one. Oh shit, that was a waste. Focus on the important ones. I have to get the tall one here or I'm dead. Might be in trouble with this. Okay, I'm just barely safe from it. The next pass, I'm in trouble. Actually, I think I'm dead here. That's why I count as being just above it. Dead, I think. That sucks. That is a hard mission. Let me go check the thing here. Still don't have enough money for the radio promotion, I don't think. Let's see, radio advertisement is 190. It's gonna be a while before I can afford to do that. Could try doing it one more time. It's a hard game though.
Feels like you can only skip a couple towers to try to line up a good bomb on cooldown without getting screwed completely. Ooh, yikes. That's bad. I'm safe from dying here, but... You get a shorter cooldown in between attacks each pass because of the bomb having to travel less distance. Come in peace. Hit one that was not a threat at all there. It's really bad having clustered buildings. It's really hard to recover from those. So I can't get them on the same pass. Yeah, exactly. Lame. The sooner the bomb explodes, the better for me, regardless of whether it's hitting the building sooner or not. Okay, if I hit this, okay. Should be able to get it next round if I'm not stupid about it. Need to get 2500. I don't need to win here. Need to keep maximizing building height. There we go. I think this machine is basically done anyway in terms of having all the goals complete. Non daily goals. Shit. Fine if I just quit out. Yeah, give it to me. Sweet. Still need more for the radio advertisements. Up, oh, bugs. Squash those bugs. Attention to see when stuff is busted like that. I already have a machine pending for tomorrow. Okay, these are pretty expensive. I do need them for the uh Jukebox objective, but I'll wait. Is there still no gum in here? I think that's the only hopper I have to collect from now. It's a lot easier once you get the automatic hopper collector upgrade. Arkanoid. Which looks like it is nothing like Arkanoid. Okay. 
tasks for today. Do zero laundry tasks. No problem. Happy to. Complete a level in Racer Chaser. 75 zombies with the SMG in Zombat 2. Okay. Let's do those first, I guess. Let me order a new machine before I forget. I think the main arcade station is completely full now. But I should have imports in theory. Empathy. Okay. Alright, so Zombat with the SMG. Likes bread, hates undead. Uh, my bullet seems to be working for some reason. That's weird. Ah, huh. wonder what happened. Let's say I have ammo. Should just be able to press the X button to shoot here. Google that really quick. Arcade Paradise Zombat 2 can't shoot. There we go. I tried literally every button except the shoot button. Need to get an SMG. Still saving up money in this map for more goals. Let me remind myself here. Use the airstrike 15 times I have to unlock that. I don't care for it as much. It does have piercing, which is nice. <laughs> Minigun's pretty cool. Does that cost? Sometimes the shop really doesn't want to let you in there. There's the SMG, geez. Burn through that quickly. Shit. Apparently they added a bunch of achievements to this game since the last time I played it. Airstrike costs 200 it looks like.
hate wasting the car alarm. Really, shotgun's nice. Can you guys drop the SMG though? <laughs> There's SMG. <laughs> Shit, I keep wanting to get the pickup and then dying to a fast zombie. What are we up to? Oh, in one game, wow. Okay, well, I gotta be extra careful then. I don't like not being able to see zombies because of buildings. I don't like not having fences. It's substantially harder level than the one I was just on. Might be. SMG. Come on, get the money. Big waste. Shit, the reload gets me every time. I guess I could pay for the SMG, but it's like an unlock that then makes it possible to drop on all future runs. So I really want to save up to get the airstrike. Those only cost 50. This would be a quick gimme objective, but it is in one game. So if I'm waiting for it to drop, that's get kind of lucky. Okay. Okay. 
Fortunately, the SMG runs out of ammo really fast, too. The big guys count just as much as the little guys by taking way more shots to kill. Mm -hmm. Token machine full, okay. that pays for itself, that's always nice. Getting at 250 money seems quite difficult, actually. Another SMG. I can pick it up at the last second if we can. Am I up to...? Uh, it won't tell me until I'm done, okay. At least that was a little bit more consistent that it would update goals mid-run. I might already have it, actually. Assault rifle is safer than this thing. That's what I need for my points. Okay. Almost have enough money for the thing I need here. Oh, I'm gonna die. I think I for sure got it here. Airstrike, got it. I guys have a chance to get those now. Two birds with one stone, very exciting. survive as long as I can here. Okay. 
Because I hope getting the airstrike gives it a chance to drop. I have to buy it for 250 every time. I'm never going to get to do that. as I equip the flamethrower. God. Okay. Got the to-do item. That's what matters. Okay. So, next up, we got... Racer Chaser. GTA Pac-Man. This one's actually pretty hard. by giving you a way out of making a mistake there. Busted. God, must have like spawned right on top of me or something. I do like that the power pellet essentially gives you the tank cheat code from GTA. Now, orange is essentially moves randomly. Red is dogged pursuit. Blue might be it tries to avoid you. Nitro is pretty helpful. I like that you stun the cops by like hitting them with your boom box. I'm gonna get hit immediately, God. behind in the bottom center I'm gonna have to run from the cops again here I don't know enough about manipulating Pac-Man ghosts AI oh I spent a lot of time on that zombat gold geez if I die now I'm gonna be really sad because I'm pretty close to finishing what are the goals for this game again? It's complete, okay. Pink ghost coming right at me there. Getting lucky with Clyde kind of being an idiot. I think Red gets some speed on me. Blinky, I want to say. I think I have one pellet left. Oh my god. At least the arrow is pointing me in the right direction this time. It's 
right there. Fuck. Give me the last dollar, Jesus. God, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. The ghosts are just constantly so close to me as soon as I spawn in. God damn it. Save a power pellet for the very end, apparently. Can't see the map when I spawn back in, which certainly makes things trickier. Okay, I might have it if pink doesn't catch up to me. First try, jeez. The other one was don't do laundry for a day, which a problem. the hell that is. Grasp handles to begin. All right, so today, play Roger for five minutes, score five on goals and very video air hockey. That one's really easy. 250 fruits and fruit crush is pretty hard. It's gonna have to be an entire day's activity here. Uh, let me buy another machine for tomorrow. Okay. How much? 10 pounds short of the thing. I need. Let me do the own goals really quick because that's really fast. One. It's actually kind of hard because it's really sensitive. First try. Wait, did it not give it to me? Come on, game. Maybe because it bounced and then it caught his goal. Let's restart. There we go. Okay, now I should be able to afford the radio ad. Radio advertisement. Okay. Come to the laundromat arcade, everybody. Another one is Roger for five minutes. Let me check out my new machine first. Do it without music first. Oh, this is funny. like spinning the left stick pain <laughs> this is pretty silly journey took 49 steps control is a fallacy must have the courage to exist Objectives on this one. The name of the game is Empathy. Take 10 hits in a single round. Hear 25 of your thoughts in a game. I don't know how I can take that many hits in one game. Maybe they mean like die 10 times. Arg. Trying to figure that out, it wasn't letting me, I didn't think so. I was trying to continue to spin after I got hit. Maybe I get hit points from progress or something. 
spinning, pressing buttons, nothing seems to happen. Yeah, it doesn't fill in the buttons I'm supposed to press. left and right are only the only things I can press here. I felt that. Oh, I did recover. Okay. Just have to keep spamming. I guess I have to get hit higher up to be able to recover. Try to get the 10 points in one round or 10 hits in one round. That seems pretty hard. Alternate left and right. The lever D pad is a little tricky. Don't get hit on that one. Fuck, I think I'm dead if that one happens. They're really spamming. This saved it. Resistance is pain. Hold on, I want to read how far I am. Oh, I won't know until I die. Okay. Need to count when I do this. Using two hands for it a little bit better. Feel everything. I might have it now, but I wish it would pop up mid game. Ten thousand cumulative steps, I think. Oh, this is wearing out my thumbs. Exactly. Twenty-five of your thoughts in a game might be one that I have to do in one game. I might have that one already too. This would be a cool. There's an arcade in uh, Meow Wolf, the art museum in Santa Fe that everyone I think should go to if they ever visit. This would be a really cool machine to install in Meow Wolf. Or if you're in uh, Vegas, there's the Mega Mart now. Ouch. Okay, I'm just let this one die because my hand is getting tired.
Did that not give it to me? Uh, okay, it did. I was about to be so mad. Okay. Uh, uh, it's a popular machine. 17 bucks an hour. And it's kind of funny the way the game encourages you to be sort of a shitty person. Oh, I just worked. That's right. This game is fun, but it's not Praxis. No, it's purely just a way to increase income. Never did Barkanoid. God, I got this. Woodgal's loyal dog, Zebby. Evil blocks appeared. Oh, maybe it is Arkanoid. Oh, that's cute. It's a pretty funny opening cutscene. What's the goals for this one? Complete all levels. Long dog is long. Have four balls and play at once. Complete level three levels without collecting any power ups. I like Arcanoid a lot. E. Doing okay there, ball. Long dog, and even longer. It's pretty funny. The sunglasses, that's really cute. Rainbow Ricochet Impossible. Remind myself here all levels or balls. Okay. Doggo. Long dog? I don't know if I can get double long.
Uh oh. Uh oh. Slight trajectory adjustments game. I think it is going to come off the edge in a second here. It's really funny to see that computer in the metaverse that couldn't play Arcanide. This is probably a play it all day to beat it game. How cute. Multi-ball! Four balls at once seems really hard to juggle. Being a level where you can get one of them trapped on the other side of it. Not long enough. Should have used the laser. I thought maybe this would be the achievement though. Rat Rage, Golden Hour. I guess you get some of the achievements in this one, you'd have to get lucky on which power up strap. Or I think. Although long dog is necessary for an achievement, so. These are so much easier to actually clear the stage, and I'm just trying to do a clearing run here. Must be one more long dog power up. This is a pretty funny play on Arcanite. <laughs> Wiener dog, I like it. I don't know if they're completely random. I get the sense that they're completely random, given that I've only seen the multi ball power up one time. Control over the trajectory of the ball based on which part of the dog it hits.
Come on. First try. Wacky waves. That's what I wanted the first time. Having four multi balls at once seems crazy. Maybe, but if the long dog requires three, then I assume multi ball requires three as well. It's like a classic Arkanoid stage. Be very happy to get that long dog upgrade so I don't have to hunt for it anymore and I can just use the laser. I guess I don't know how power-up drops work in base Arkanoid, but I always thought they were random rather than authored into specific blocks. It's not actually that desirable. still do something with seeds, right? That's why so many early games are procedural. Okay. Uh, Boney Maloney. This game is like substantially longer than any of the other games. It's been 2 a.m. for a while. I'm just trying to get a single clear so I can mark that task done. Probably because this stage is kind of awkwardly 
played out. I guess I won't take it if I already have two. Shit, shouldn't have let that happen. I should be fine. I already have two long dog upgrades. Multi-ball ignores my slowdown effect. That's interesting. I suspected that that was a feature of the balls. That's when I'm explicitly going for long dog or the multi-ball achievement. I should have an easier time of it because I won't be worried about trying to actually pass stages. I am right now. Come on. Oh my god. Worst part of Arcanoid. Pink thing. What else did I have to do? I had to get, I had to beat it. Long dog, four balls in play, three levels without power ups. Okay, I'll do that later, because right now I just want to win. three levels all time without power-ups, so I could go for it now, not consecutive, but I can't worry about it now. That sucks. sure it's random so it's got like six laser power-ups in this level stone cutter geez how many levels are there Had a limited way to exchange US dollars for British pounds. I think I'm gonna have an excess of cash for the rest of the game. Give me power ups. Slow time one's actually undesirable if I don't have a multi ball out. pops up because this stage kind of sucks. Okay, man. 
Should have been running the uh, Jeep Glocks this whole time. That's okay. I wish I could set it to shuffle, just to be kind of attentive to it. Okay. Where he was like, just barely not clip it. Crazy circles. Might just be you have to do every level in one run. Love to get inside there, that would be great. Pretty good serve. Long dog. Two more, presumably. Longer dog. Come on, one more long dog. I don't think it's happening. Don't give me score. I don't care about score. <sighs> Come on. Maybe? They're gonna give me that rat rage level or rat race. That'd be pretty mean. Good serve again. Sticking with the laser was correct that time because there were only two long dog drops. Wish they weren't uh, mutually exclusive. Oh, this must be the last one because they didn't ask me to pick. Okay. I like Arkanoid a lot because it's like, what if Pong was fun? Pong gave you something to do. Take, although I can't use it through this stage for a big chunk of it. I guess I could have taken the long dog there, so the laser is useless now. Actually, a pretty hard level with the uh, invincible blocks. We saw three long dog power ups on one level so far. Game completed. Friends reunited. All right. That's tough. It's Woodgal from the game Woodgal. Okay. That was 
probably the hardest or the, the biggest time sink for any unlock in the game so far. But I'll never have to do that goal again, so that's good. Uh, let me double check the machine settings. 13.50 now. Okay, I probably have time for one more day because the day's usually about 20 minutes if I don't play a game at 2 a.m. All wrap. Penguin push. All right, what are we doing today? Space race simulator, 99 bombs and bomb dudes. They bombed these for five minutes. That's nice to have two that are both the same thing. Uh, I want to see what my new machine is. Order a new thing. Zero British pounds. Bummer. Bostock Inc. Pinball. Oh. Okay. I don't have space for a pinball machine. Oh, I can't invest. I should have done that sooner. Just an investor now. Do that. Just notice I'm listening to the lyrics of this song about Arcade Paradise. It's pretty funny. Uh... Haven't been prompted to expand yet. Let's try this out. Penguin push. Where are the goals here? Round five, 100 coins, 25 swims, 250 points. Make 20 walruses red with anger. Just like classic Mario 1, essentially. Or like the original, yeah, it is, okay. Just Mario Brothers, not Super Mario Brothers. Make them red by hitting them three times, presumably. A lot of walruses. I love the way you get spit out by the orca. That's really funny. Oh, okay. Stork killed you. music for this one is uncharacteristically kind of bad. I'm going to back out in a second here. I'm going to go, because most of the music in this game is pretty good. I'm going to turn on the jukebox. So let me do my objective for today. It was Space Race Simulator for five minutes. Let's do the bomb one first, since that's two things. Keep trying to unlock these guys. Bomb dudes. Try to do party here. Since there is an objective in party mode. Bomb opponents ten times. Does that count? 
We have to do 50. Okay, that's probably not worth doing then. Fill in later once I do the adventure mode stuff. Three vision. Ouch. Different button for bomb kick. Yeah, okay, square is probably that. Bomb throw, I see. Which substantially increases the time for it to blow up, I guess. Ray ever a power up an actual Bomberman? Kind of a cool power up concept. I need to do bomb placements and time plays. I'm just trying to drop as many as I can here. Oh god. It's fine. always restart power-ups on any stage anyway and then the other one was any 25 stages not 25 consecutive stages okay bomb count thank you ouch damn it Giving, with giving you uh, extra lives in this. Probably have bomb count already. If I have time as well. Two more bombs. And one more minute of play, it seems like. That one updated mid game without having any require me to back out. It's really my biggest complaint about this game, which is otherwise quite excellent. It is definitely a game about making money from owning things instead of labor. <laughs> and framing that is a good thing. Aspirational. Go. Sure. Well, I won't update time played. Which doesn't require a single game. So I think it's just kind of inconsistent. All right. Uh, 
space race simulator. Yeah. Five minutes. This one I think I'm basically done with. Other than racing for a thousand kilometers. Harder you leisure, the more you earn. Yeah, especially since you do stuff like eventually you unlock um, investing, right? All this money you've passively gained from paying somebody to empty the coin hoppers now become more money for free. This might actually be one of the most like pro-capitalist games I've played. There's a lot of games that are sort of like accidentally about a lot of those themes or accidentally about colonialism, resource extraction, that sort of a thing. But here it's literally about you start the game as a poor laborer uh, who has to work for shit wages doing people's laundry. And the dream is to just make money from owning the machines, right? I guess you do some work, you have to like repair them, I guess, but bulkier money comes from them just sitting in the room. Yeah. There's a lot of indie fairs pretty radicalized against capitalism lately. I guess you could do, you could do this exact same game with the exact same mechanics and have a story that doesn't Glorify it's probably not the right word. It doesn't really like glorify it necessarily, but it kind of just has an attitude like, this is sick, isn't it? Isn't this like the fucking dream? Right. Oh, I wasted a gum, shit. I'm trying to clean the toilet. be interesting to make a game where it's like it starts as you are like passionate about games right and you could do almost the opposite where you get less and less time for games because I guess that's kind of what happens is uh, the more successful you are the more time you have to fuck around and just have a good time right And I guess like part of the fantasy of this game is like the story is that your dad thinks you're like a bum loser, right? Because you're, you're just so interested in video games. But what dad doesn't know is that you can make a shitload of money off of video games too. And that make, therefore that makes being interested in video games a like valid. You prove yourself to your father by uh, using your passion to, you know, generate wealth. I guess it's a game about turning your hobby into a side hustle. Clock, tell me for this one. 117. Yeah. <laughs> Subordinated your interests to the needs of capital. A plus, good child. It's really interesting how art can still kind of have a claim to being subversive or countercultural or whatever, but still kind of like fall into the same traps where like 
It understands conceptually that the the greedy dad who wants you to make the uh, the laundromat business successful is a bad guy. It just presents his badness as being focused around something boring and lame like a laundromat and not something cool like an 80s arcade. I've been trying to look for more like anti-capitalist board games. I, we played one finishing time from the guy who made um, Power Grid. It was pretty good, but they're hard to find. It turns out a lot of board games are about acquisition of resources. Even like the the, the prototypical board game is supposed to be teaching you how this shit is bad, but it's kind of unironically adopted Monopoly as a thing that we're going to make a million copies of. I don't know about drift boosting in this. I just have to play it for five minutes. I've gotten all the unlocks from it. Oh, back out. They've already given it to me. Oh, okay. okay. That's probably time for me. I did check out my newest machine, right? Literally just installed it. Smoke them. Yeah, it was Penguin Push, which is kind of a okay Mario clone. All right, future Marstead. Uh, next episode, you're going to have Kung Fury coming in. You still need to expand your building one more time to be able to afford Vostok Inc. Pinball. Uh, you bought the radio advertisement, so for now... I would probably recommend... I would actually look through all these upgrades to see which one you want next. I think you got the one that made the most sense. Stuff like the recycling bags, who cares? You don't do trash anymore, right? The watch seems like it's just, like, for luxury. Um, but you need to wait and see if you get prompted to... Uh, expand the building. You can check on your investments if you get a pop-up about that as well. Yeah, they have a couple gags in here, like Communists from Mars. Get fully conquer your backyard. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. That's what finishing time is. It's kind of the... It's a game about making your workers take time off work, <laughs> which is it's pretty good. I enjoyed it. Alright, and then next game is System Shock. Give me some time to get that set up.